Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. This is my preview video for the Murat Gassiev and Jerry Forrest fight, which is happening on February 29 on the undercard of the Mikey Garcia and Jesse Vargas card in Frisco, Texas. Not the only heavyweight on the card, also Joseph Parker taking on Shondell Winters, but Gassiev, this will be his first fight at heavyweight since losing to Alexander Usyk in the World Boxing Super Series final all the way back in mid-2018. So he has sort of stalled out on his progress of making it to the heavyweight division and becoming a fully minted heavyweight because of injury. Was meant to fight a couple of times in 2019 but ultimately pulled out through injury. So this is a fight where maybe there will be a little bit of ring rust at play because he hasn't been in the ring for over 18 months now. But I'm sure he is going to get the win against Jerry Forrest. And Forrest is a 31-year-old. He's got a record of 26 and 3, 6 foot 1, 78 inch reach. So he's actually, in dimension wise, a bit smaller than Murat Gassiev, who is six foot three and a half, or listed as that. Maybe he's more like six foot two, but he should be the bigger man against Jerry Forrest. But really, this for me is safe matchmaking. And what I mean by that is Forrest has a very manicured record, very well sort of put together. Uh, over, over recent years, it's actually got a lot of wins on it. He had a streak of 18 in a row since 2014 until last year when he lost to Jermaine Franklin. But ultimately, there's not much there. So the way I look at this fight in Jerry Forrest, a showcase fight for Murat Gassiev, and I do believe that he is going to knock out Forrest. Even though Forrest went the distance against Jermaine Franklin and was perhaps unlucky to, to lose that fight, Murat Gassiev has a lot more pop than Jermaine Franklin. At this point, Franklin hasn't proven that he's sort of anything above top 40, top 50 level, that he's uh, any closer to the top 30, whereas a guy like Forrest has really been sort of fighting in obscurity for much of his career. He's built up this padded record, and now it's time for him to cash in on that. He's a prize fighter after all, 31 years old, and he's got a good record. So this is right for the picking for a good heavyweight contender on the way up to make the most out of. And this is what I believe um, they're doing for Murat Gassiev here. There's not a huge amount of risk in facing Jerry Forrest. He's not a massive puncher. Even though it says he's got 20 KOs on the record, the guys that he's been facing, very low level for the most part. I mean, when you look at his record, and I encourage you to do so, I mean, the best win might be um, a decision win against Joshua Tufti, that was 2019, or perhaps one of his three wins over Grover Young. So he fought journeyman Grover Young three times. Uh, apart from that, it is uh, wafer thin in terms of the names and the actual guys that are uh, actually doing something in the heavyweight division. So Jerry Forrest, um, although I did like his performance against Jermaine Franklin, I do think that um, Murat Gassiev is a different animal. Unlike Franklin, Murat Gassiev has really got dynamite in his hands. And I believe this is going to lead to a knockout in this fight. Maybe not in the first few rounds, because I think what's going to happen, we'll see Gassiev coming out. He'll be looking to probably get a few rounds under his belt. I think he will ease into the fight. But then in the second half of the fight, I believe you'll start to step it up, start to really put the pressure on, and it will lead to a knockout. He will end up catching Forrest, who's a good mover. He's got a good jab, and he knows how to sort of navigate around the ring. But ultimately, Murat Gassiev is going to be far too much for Jerry Forrest, who, as I've mentioned, wafer-thin resume, which is really being put on the line here as a, a showcase fight for Murat Gassiev. So from that perspective, you know, I can let this one go because ultimately Murat Gassiev, the best part of, what, 19, 20 months out of the ring, he needs to get in the ring some rounds. He needs to get into it, into the heavyweight division and announce himself. And I do believe that there could be a vicious knockout waiting for Jerry Forrest on February the 29th. Even though I'm sure Forrest has been examining the, the win by Alexander Usyk, how he kept uh, Gassiev moving and from uh, being able to set his feet, Let's face it, Jerry Forrest is not Alexander Usyk, 
and eventually Gassiev is going to catch up with him. And maybe he will catch up with him early, but I'm expecting that Gassiev will try to go a few rounds. He will ease into it because he needs the, the action. Because after this, I'm sure people will be less forgiving of a similar level fight. And let's face it, at this point in his career, I mean, Jerry Forrest is ranked 96th on box rec, but uh, Gassiev needs to be starting to climb uh, higher in the division and needs to start to announce himself. And I believe he can be in some very good fights in the heavyweight division. He's a very hard-hitting puncher, and I think his power is going to carry up and carry up well. Chris Ariola talks about, you know, the guys that he's faced. Gassiev is the hardest puncher that he's been in the ring with, and he's fought Deontay Wilder, so that is saying something. And Gassiev, you know, he, I think despite, you know, the loss to Usyk, can be in some very good matchups because let's face it in the heavyweight division there's only a select number of guys who are you know elite uh, heavyweights who move well that are really fleet of foot a guy like Gassiev against half of the plotters that are in the sort of top 50 you know you could see him getting some highlight reel knockouts so I'm expecting this one to end in a KO at some point probably in the second half of the fight but of this actual fight um Gassiev says, and this is in the press release, I'm so happy to be finally able to make my debut at heavyweight. It has been frustrating not being able to fight, but I'm ready to go now and I want to make up for lost time. When I boxed in Frisco, it would have been nearly 600 days since I fought, and a lot has happened in the heavyweight division over that time. I know I can be a world champion at heavyweight, but I need to show the rest of the division that I'm a serious threat, and that starts at February 29. So those were Murat Gassiev's statements. And I think that statement will come, although how much we can really take from it against a clearly overmatched opponent, because that's what Forrest will be on February the 29th. He'll put up a good effort, but I don't think it's going to be nearly enough to deal with Gassiev. But what do you make of Murat Gassiev and his, you know, coming up to heavyweight? How do you think he will do? Is he going to be in some good fights? What's he going to do to Jerry Forrest on February the 29th? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.